Is our society slowly turning dystopian? Well, if it's anything like this board game, then it probably is. Hey, I'm Will. This is Cardboard Matt. Please take a minute to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. We'd love to do solo games, playthroughs, some playthroughs for friends and reviews, discussions. We're gonna be looking at Euphoria, Build a Better Dystopia. This is a Stonemaier Games game created by uh, Jimmy Stegmaier. And uh, I'm also including the expansion here, Ignorance is Bliss. And this is one of their, their earlier games, um, I believe. And, uh, you know, I'll kind of cover through a kind of how to play as I'm playing through the solo game. So you'll get a feel for how the game works as well as how the rules work. Uh, and then of course I will have my review time stamped at the end. So you can jump straight to that if you just want to see the review portion. Uh, I'm playing just on uh, the standard difficulty, uh, but of course you do need the Ignorance is Bliss expansion if you do want to play solo. The game is not playable without that. Uh, and I'll have more thoughts of course at the end. Here we are set up, there is quite a few things. The expansion does add a little board to kind of organize my pieces, but just for kind of added visibility, I am still placing my um, my favor or heart or whatever and my knowledge um, kind of on the main board, just like the original game. I do have the uh, improved, I guess you could say reprinted board that is designed for the expansion where it has the uh, the numbers on it for uh, reducing the mining uh, based on player count, which really should have been on, you know, any kind of new prints of the game should have that already. Uh, but I was lucky enough to pick up a copy of this with that kind of included, uh, as well as like, you know, these game trays are not part of uh, the standard production, I believe, although maybe the newer ones do. I picked this one up second hand, so we shall see. Now, I've created the, the solo AI deck, as you'll see here, and the way this works is there'll be matching cards, I'll explain that. This is a dice placement worker game where your dice get placed around the board. Yeah, there are some spots where that you can hold any number of workers, or other spots where only one worker will fit, uh, and the dotted outline spots, you can be bumped from that location um, if you do. Now, every time you bring your workers back, this is when you have to be careful that your workers are not learning too much about the world around them uh, and just how dysfunctional, dystopian the, the world is, or they will leave you. So when, they, when you do a recall, you roll everything coming back, and then you look at your knowledge value, you add the pip value from the current knowledge track, and if the total value of these pips and the pips on all of your dice that are on your player board or at a return to you is greater to or equal to 16, then you lose a worker, which can be quite painful, uh, but you know, as long as you're careful, then that won't happen. And you can optionally, uh, I don't know if I will end up doing it or not during the game, that's why I'm explaining it now. You can actually choose to leave workers behind when you recall. So this is different from other recall type worker placement games. You don't have to bring them all back. Uh, but nothing triggers when you bring them back either. It's just, you'll see that when you we get the me mechanisms here. So uh, each player has been given a couple of um, faction cards. And normally one of these would be revealed when them is secret. I have a green and a blue, so I will be hoping to raise the green and blue allegiance tracks by the end of the game for some victory points. Uh, and because in order to win, I will need to get out my 10 victory point stars. First player to get all 10 out will end up winning the game. Um, I believe if multiple players get them all at once, I think there'll be a tiebreaker. Not, I can't remember. Uh, it hasn't happened before. Last, you know, times I've played, there's always been a winner who got it there first. So these cards, one of them will be face up, one of them will be face down, meaning one of them will have its ability active, and I will not be able to flip the other one over until 
um, the mining reaches the corresponding location or the allegiance track reaches the corresponding location. So to start, I'm gonna have to decide which ability I want. So I can either pay less commodity than the cost shown on the bazaar. So if some of these cards are looking familiar to you, uh, again, the, the Ignorance is Bliss expansion does include uh, a whole replacement set of cards with some differing abilities, uh, more interesting abilities. Same for the facilities, uh, the markets rather are also different. Uh, and there's a market board, in case you don't recognize that in your box, don't worry, it only comes to the expansion, uh, adds costs uh, to the additional cost of the market as well. So pay the one less commodity than a cost shown on the bazaar, if any, when you get any artifacts, so that's these ones, could be cheaper. Or when you pay three different artifacts on an artifact market, gain a, a uh, mining resource and a uh, consumable resource, I'm not sure how you would call it differently, um, like we have energy, water, food, and bliss, which is the, you know, mind control <laughs> medicine that is being handed out to civilians. So they both look pretty good for long term. How often will we be getting stuff? Probably earlier on I'll be getting commodities on the cheap. So let's hang on to the green one. And this will be off my screen for now, but we'll know I'm going for green and blue with the blue here and hidden. Uh, each player also has a once per game card that functions as your kind of your clue sheet on what different iconography means, but it is also a once per game on your turn. Instead of doing a regular action, placing or recalling, you can instead reveal the card Neither draw two recruits, recruits keep one, so that's these the cards that we just saw, or place a star on this card, which is one of the 10 victory points. But of course, it's gonna cost me a very specific artifact or two of anything. You can always choose to spend two of anything to replace one required one when you're spending artifacts. Uh, and vice versa, if you're required to spend three artifacts, you can instead play two of the same. Uh, so it kind of works both, you know, both ways like that. All right, so I have a five and a two here. Let's go off and get some resources. I think is probably gonna be the first bet. Um, I do want blues to flip eventually, so I might increase the blues here. Uh, a major key is gonna be getting these things built. So that's, you know, that's probably a good first turn. I'll place a higher number because it won't really matter as much. Um, or I could just go get water. You know what, let's do that. So we're gonna go get some water. So now we're gonna look at these resource spots. There are four different ones in the game. They all work the same way. Depending on how many pips is in that area at the time of your dice placement, is depend um, determines what actions you'll do. So since there's only two pips here, I will be gaining a water, and I'll be increasing the blue allegiance track. Or if there was five to eight pips total, I would get a water and lose knowledge, which could be beneficial because then I will not have so much difficulty staying below that cap. Or if there's nine or more, I gain two water, but you know, because there's more workers there and they're doing more work. However, they're chatting a little bit and they're learning a little bit too much about some of the things behind the scenes. And of course the government wants to kind of keep them under wraps here. So you end up gaining knowledge. So there's my water and that's my turn there. Now we're going to reveal what the AI is doing here. So here we have the first card and how the AI works here is that you will be matching up the top of the discard with the new one and looking at the central area here to determine what's happening. So first we have um, a staggered recall. So if there were, if, it, if we were to recall this turn, the AI, which by the way, we're technically playing against two AIs for soul game, the AI would leave a die behind. And now the black is gonna take action. So it's going to, take a uh, commodity, right? Commodity area action of the commodity it's preferred in. So 
since I'm kind of hiding here. Uh, at the start of the game, I randomly determined um, which priority the AI is going after, and it has to be ones that are not ones I'm currently doing. So the black is going for the yellow region, and the, and the white is going for the, um, it's the Wastelander. So we have the um, Euphorian in the Wastelander area. So it's going to place a die, and it's always going to place, uh, I believe, the highest. All right, so the AI is going to be placing in the commodity area of its preference. When it's doing its preference, it places the lowest value. Otherwise, it places the highest. So black is going to come here. Uh, the AI does not gain any resources, but does advance tracks and things as it goes. So it's going to advance that one. And then the white is going to place... All right, so the AI is placing in the breeze bar and advances the green there. Now it's back to me. I only have one more die left, so I may want to go and get some resources. Well, I think we're going to have to really awaken people this round. Uh, water is good though, so let's go and gain... Uh, it's going to cost a water. Sorry. Um, and we're going to gain a silver or a card, but I'm not going to buy a card right now. I'm going to take the silver. Because I think that's going to be more beneficial. So round is what you get, square is what you pay. All right, next AI card. All right, commodity of its choice again. And four, so it's still advancing. And then the white is going to place in the green commodity area. And it's going to advance there as well. So now that those areas are um, increased, they will gain an additional resource when going there if you have a allegiance. All right, so now that these are up to this upper level, uh, now if anyone goes there with an allegiance, uh, or rather they have a worker of that type and they place there, they gain an extra uh, resource of that type. All right. Now it's back to me. I'm going to have to recall because all my workers are spent. So let's roll these two. Oh, no. Okay, so we are at 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow, so already that was almost dangerous. Uh, all right, on to the AI. They get all four of their dice from the start, so they're just going to keep on trucking. Uh, now they're going to get a resource uh, of their choice again. All right, we're at eight, nine. So basically nothing happens because they don't track any of those things. And then the other one is gonna go into the one of its choice as well, which uh, is over here. And that will bump this one up. All right, back to me. My numbers are pretty high, it's not ideal. Uh, but let's start building. So we have a silver. So let's go over here. Spin that silver to place here. Uh, okay, now the AI's turn. And place. All right, here we have a removal of the bazaar. So that clears that off a little bit, keeps it flowing. Um, and it's going to go get some more resources. And it's uh, in the blue one this time and increase blue and then the white one is going to go up to this spot here and increase green uh, and there's no recall yet all right on to me well i could really use some water but it's going to be it's going to be painful. So we're up to nine now. So I'm going to gain more knowledge, but I'm getting two water this time. I should mention earlier, when you recall, uh, you will lose a heart uh, if you're recalling kind of the mean way, uh, as, as shown on the key of the board here. But if you spend a fruit or a bliss, you will gain two hearts. Hearts is also determines your maximum hand size 
for the artifact cards, which I have none right now, and so it doesn't really matter. All right, next AI card. Okay, um, it will be, they'll be both recalling and they're gonna leave one behind. So, um, let's see, okay, these ones back. Oh, behind on of a non automa faction. All right, so it's gonna leave behind the one on the blue here because it doesn't have blue. And the white is going to recall, it has this one. So it's gonna take that and it's gonna leave behind the cloud mine. Okay, so they've both recalled. That's also the end of the deck. So now that the deck has run through once, we're gonna take a secondary deck that we have created and we're gonna shuffle those in. All right, so we've recreated their deck, new starter card, and that's back to me. And they still haven't came after my things yet, so I'm just gonna recall. Take that one back. I can't recall this one until it's built, otherwise I'd forfeit that action, so it's unfortunate. All right, next, okay, here, finally they're gonna build. All right, so black is gonna build first, and there is a priority chart, which the game comes with. Uh, it's gonna start with the Bamos valid space. So first it's gonna look for um, uh, markets under construction. So it knows I'm working on something already. So they're gonna come and they're gonna join me and complete that spot. So now that market is complete, what's gonna happen is it's gonna flip over and everyone is going to add a star to it if they contributed in building and then take back their die. So now we are immune to this penalty. Each of these markets has a different penalty on it, which is uh, not cool to be stuck with a penalty. Uh, and this one is, this is the carousel. So the knowledge tests have a threshold of 14 instead of 16, uh, which is not great. So you really don't want to be left not constructing things. Uh, on a two player game, it only, uh, or two, three, two to three player game, it only takes two to, to build it. Um, and then of course that number increases for each player. So on a five player game, it's going to be uh, four players to construct it. Uh, six players, also four players. So some people are gonna get, there's always gonna be someone who's gonna get stuck with a penalty. And that's what this action is for. This is spend two of the same artifacts or three different ones, and then either play uh, advance, sorry, advance the corresponding track, and then either place a star on a built market so that you are no longer uh, beholden to the penalty and pushing you closer to victory, or place a star in the lonely area control thing, or it's not so much an area control, just as there are spaces available based on player count for just extra star opportunities. So that's good, that gives me my artifact back. Now the white is gonna build as well in this preferred area, which is orange, and it's always gonna take um, a bottom spot. So I would like to go join them. I do have some water, so maybe I'll go. Oh, I forgot that moves when I took that spot earlier. Um, I'm gonna go and do that again. So I'm digging again. Sorry, I forgot that earlier. That should have moved. Uh, and I'm getting a, another silver. Because I don't wanna be left behind on that spot. All right, hopefully the AI won't jump in there and catch me off guard. All right, now, oops, sorry. Black is going to his preferred spot to bump up on there. And white is going back to the breeze bar and bumping up green. All right, back to me. And hooray, hooray, I have a silver. So even though I'm pretty poor in resources and actions, at least I can uh, help build stuff. Let's flip this guy over. So this is the uh, Athenium of Mandatory Guidelines. So when placing a star, lose a heart. Okay, well, 
glad I don't have that one. Uh, and I'm currently winning with uh, two, two of my stars out. Let's take these back. Uh, all right, now for the AI. Okay, and black is going back to its preferred again. And we have white is going to green, which is still gonna push it. All right, I really need to get blue up to get my blue guy flipped over here. This is not ideal. Do need want more water to eventually get another worker would be lovely. I could I could do the energy route, but that's going to give me more knowledge, and that's more dangerous. But that might be the faster way to get it. Hmm. Or I can just flip it that way. Um, I have one water. I could get an artifact card, but why why do that now? I could get more bliss. Sure, yeah, let's go up here, grab the double energy. Oh, I forgot green is green has been improved already. I have green. That's right. So four five, six, seven, eight. Four. So I can actually lose some knowledge and I gain an extra bliss because I have my green guy revealed and we're past the cloud mine location. So that is Great, not for getting new workers, but at least I can recall them now and not lose hearts once I start getting some hearts. All right, AI. Black is going to its preferred again. And white is going into the blue area, which is gonna do nothing right now. So we are progressing along pretty quickly. They're gonna recall I'm gonna to have to recall. I'm gonna recall everything. I need I need those workers. All right, nine, 10, 11, 12, we're good. And they are going to recall and they're gonna leave one behind if it's an area that's not their own. So black's taking all theirs and leaving this one. White is, hmm, if there's two, which one does it recall? The commodity area of a non automa faction of any when retrieving, I'll leave behind the highest. So a one or a three. So it's gonna leave behind the three. Okay. Back to moi. Water is still, is still a pain. I could go and get just two water and a knowledge. That would be fine. I'm not really caring about hearts right now. I could have recalled them again by paying Bliss to get hearts, but I, I don't have any artifacts in my hand right now, so that doesn't really matter. Sure, let's play it risky. Nine, gain knowledge, and two water. It's gonna be risky rolling three dice, but let's do it. All right. AI is going to clear a card from the market, from the bazaar. Keep getting that as confused. There's a bazaar and then there's markets. Uh, and then black is going to place on the blue area. And the white is going back to, nope, to the Sky Lounge. It really likes the Sky Lounge. Uh, oh, yeah, and that pumps some green. Oh, Kadoki four. I do have some resources. I could go to the Breeze Bar and buy some cards. But again, I, again, I have no hearts right now. Oh, my other worker. Yes, okay. Other worker, three water. I gain two hearts. And I can unlock another die. Oops, five. All right, now we're rolling. Literally. All right, black is going back to its preferred. Just the cards they got. There are a bunch of cards from the Atom deck. I happen to get a whole bunch of these. Um, so it's going to its preferred. It is raising it. And white is going to the breeze bar and raising green. 
Okie doke, back to me, five. I want to get my knowledge down. How is the best way to do that? Bliss, nothing tunnels for bliss. I could go, oh, I need to build some more things. What are we gonna build? I could go to the Sky Lounge. I really need to pump up the blues here though. To get those flipped, to get this pushed up some more would be great. So yeah, even though it's painful, let's let's get two more water. And on our knowledge, I'm at plus five. I don't want to roll very, very many dice. Uh, all right. AI is, let's see here, they're placing in their favorite again and moving up that. And the white is going in here and moving up here. And back to me, I got to recall. And I don't want to recall all three dice because that's probably a bad idea, plus five. So eight, 13. Well, maybe I could have recalled the other one. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I have to pay um, a bliss and gain two hearts because I don't want to uh, be rude to them this time, at least. All right, AI is going to go. Oh, it's going to start building. Uh, oh, no, they're recalling now. And they're not leaving anything behind. That's perfect. You gotta stay ahead of them on the building. Okay. Oh, uh, I forgot the penalties. Totally forgot. I'm sorry. I'm behind on this game. Uh, there are penalty cards. So if the AI is not on the spot on the building, then it's penalty with flips and sixes get locked. This is the first time they've rolled a six. So this is kind of why I didn't remember it before. So the white has now lost. You can't really see this because the screen but the white has lost the ability to use one die because it rolled a six which is great for me and i still get a place out all right let's come out here oh i need to pump blue up so let's get a water is that the best thing sure uh and advance this here and onto the AI, and it's gonna place, black is going to the breeze bar. Greens can now flip, of course I don't have any greens. And white is going to here, oh, pushing green. Green is just flying up there. All right, and they're gonna reshuffle, and they're gonna add another stack. So this is now their completed AI deck. Uh, there are no more Cards, or rather, sorry, there's there's more cards, but not in the pre-constructed packs that will be added in. So they're going to do some slightly different actions now, probably, and more advanced actions. Um, okay, I went there first. Card, wait, no, I just went. Yeah, I just went, so it's their turn. Uh, all right, black is going into its preferred. And white is going to the same spot. Oh, they're working together. That's terrible. Um, okay, and then I'm going to go here, bump that, spin the water, gain the silver, and flip blues. So I can now reveal my blue card. So now I pay three different artifacts on an artifact market. I gain uh, an additional fancy resource and a standard resource. I need to start getting commodities soon. I gotta start building stuff. I gotta do all everything. We'll see. We'll see what I can do here. All right, AI Black is building. Oh, it's preferred. Okay, and White is going to Sky Lounge. Okay. I need to recall. I think just the two is probably best right now. Oops. Six. Uh, Eleven. Okay. All right. 
Oh yeah, and I'll uh, I'll do this the mean way. All right, AIs removing from markets, and black is placing in the green area and not bumping up. White has to recall now and is going to take everything back. So now they're out of sync a little bit. Uh, and still lost a die, another six. It's good for me. I'm going to go, oh, I can't help build this one. I can help build, hmm. Or maybe I should go to the Breeze Bar and buy resources. Sure, let's go there. Spend one and one to get two resources. Let's get a gold, because I don't have any of those yet, and a brick. And increase green. We're at the green star now, so I can now place a star on my guy. That's one more. Um, and the, uh, I believe the AI, no, can't do that because they don't have a thing yet revealed yet uh they don't have a, a green but i do all right on to their turn uh oh black oh black has no dice so they are recalling and they're leaving them behind on one they don't control and white is going to the breeze bar so green's done and then it's on to me and now I've got resources. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. They should not have, they would not have removed from a market unless uh, it was completed. But I'm going to go and I'm going to help complete it now. And we'll spend a gold. Now this one is done. The Thought Police of the Open Mind. So we each get to go here. Um, after knowledge check, gain. Uh, knowledge uh, if at least two of your available workers have the same knowledge so if you have the same number on your die you gain one of these knowledge is bad again thankfully I have you know a, a star there so that's working out pretty well for me all right AI let's see uh, black is going to uh, where's that that's the breeze bar and white gets bumped. And then white is going to green. Green gets bumped again. Okay, it's weirdly cyclical. It's happening here. Um, let's do some more building, I guess, since we have the resources. Uh, let's go over here. Let's put silver. Might as well get those ones out of the way. All right, here the Black is going to place over here, move this one. And white is going to place and it's preferred. So it's going to go over there. I have to recall. Uh, now I'm going to recall those two and leave my construction one there. Ooh, uh, nine, 14, very close. All right, black is placing in its preferred and bumping that up. And white is placing in the breeze bar. I really like the breeze bar of this game. Weird, just the cards that came out for setup, I guess. Um, all right, well, I mean, I could finish these off myself. Oh, well, I can't finish that one off myself. Could go build elsewhere. I might leave myself to be a little more tactical for building. Let's uh, let's get some water. So an extra now that I flipped in the ordinary spot, and then bump that up because I do want to get blue up to the max eventually. Let's see. AI here is going to black. Can still place in its favorite. And bump up there. I think was I supposed to add stars? This is a, a terrible playthrough, I'm so sorry. All right, should have clarified. Uh, so the black is gonna get a star here because their color was flipped. 
orange is not flipped yet. So they're actually one more ahead, which is fine. I think I'm still winning. Um, okay. Now I've lost track <laughs> of whose turn it is. They've gone there, they've gone there. I've placed water. Okay, all right, I think it's the AI's turn. All right, black is gonna have to recall. They're gonna leave one in an area where they're not majority, uh, not preferred, and leave the highest. Ooh, okay, and it's a six, so we'll, they lose the six. And then the white is gonna have to recall as well. They're gonna leave one where they're not um, preferred. Oh yeah, and roll this one again. And they still have another six, so they still lock a die. No one's building. Come help me. I don't want to do one on my own. Yeah, I'm actually early there. Uh, okay, let's go and... I could keep working on this tunnel. Could be good. I do need some cards eventually, so let's go. I've got lots of water. So let's spend a water and move this tunnel along and I'm gonna take a card instead. Uh, there's no books that I want, but I can pay one less, um, according to my, I'm at the artifact dealer, I can pay one less commodity than the cost shown in the bazaar, if any, when getting an artifact. So, um, sure, just for variety's sake, let's grab the teddy bear. And okay, now the AI is gonna go. Um, let's see, black is gonna place some energy and move up here. And white is gonna place on the artifact market if it's preferred. So it's actually gonna place there. It's gonna advance that, and then it's going to add a star and, nope. Yeah, it's gonna add a star, but it's gonna add a star here because it's already on this spot. Our front market, constructed market. Yeah, so it would do, it would prioritize penalizing if there wasn't penalizing. Uh, this flowchart is not the most awesome, but uh, there's no markets under a construction. So it's just gonna place out there. Okay. Now back to me. I'm gonna have to recall. So I'm nice, I still only have two dice because one's still stuck waiting for a partner to build. Uh, I'm good for numbers, 12. All right, AI, okay. Uh, black is going to, oh, well, I, was, I was reading this wrong. Um, what was the previous, okay, this was, What was it? That was here. Okay. So preferred. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. And then this one comes here. So it just happens to be the similar. Um, so black is going to be over on this spot. It's going to kick him off. And black is going to take care of its penalty. So it no longer has any penalty. So it gets that six back. And white is going to help build in its preferred area, but it will always try to help a unfinished build first. So this one now completes and white and red go here and white comes back. Uh oh, oh good. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 14. Well, if I had rolled too much higher, I would have been in trouble. Uh, the new penalty is you can't gain resources if you have three or more and you could discard the resources. That's not good. Okay, so that is them. Now back to me. Um, let's put my high numbers back out there. I still have a brick to build. So let's go over here and build this one. I do want this area built up anyways, so we'll go do that. Okay, next we have um, black is going to go in the spot of its preferred. So that bumps up the star. Black adds another star because that's what it does as preferred. And then white is going into the sky lounge. Pump up green again. 
They love their Sky Lounge. I mean, it's a good spot to get resources. Uh, we gotta do a little more than that, though. I think we're going to come back here, spend the water, bump it just a little bit more, and we are going to get another card. Oops, I forgot to replenish that. Uh, and let's take the glasses. I don't have to pay because of my Ahmed guy. And my hand limit's at four now, so that's good. Uh, all right. AI, black has to recall. It's going to take everything. Oh, yeah, black has a new thing you have to worry about. New, new penalty. Oh, and there's a six. So lost a six. White still has a die, though. It's going to place in energy and boost that. But it can't. So there you go. And then I was back to me. I would love if they helped me build more, but eh, it's not going to happen. Cards, 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 cards. I mean, if when you pay three different artifacts on an artifact market. Yeah. Maybe I'll bump my own. Yeah, let's do that. I'll bump my own. That comes back. Spend a water. Um, my hand limit is still good. Um, and I'm going to take the balloon. Okay. All right. Now, uh, black is going to place in its preferred. So the smallest is already done. White's going to place in its preferred, but it can't. It's going to recall. It's going to leave the highest in the place it does not prefer. Um, I'm assuming, oh, it goes clockwise. So it would leave that one because it's clockwise and it would take these ones. Uh, no sixes this time. Okay. Back to me. We, they haven't gotten me on any of these. And I still want to increase blue. So let's come here. We're going to spend three different cards. Um, and when I pay three different artifacts on an artifact market, I gain uh, a standard resource. Let's gain a water, maybe. I can get water pretty easily. Let's gain uh, an energy. Yeah, let's gain energy and a brick. Those get removed. And I get to place a star in the subterranean territory. Okay. All right, black is placing in the blue area. They're gonna place their highest. And white is placing in its preferred. So it's gonna place the lowest and increase that one. And okay, and their deck is gonna get remade. And it's back to me. You better come help me start rebuilding things soon because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Oh, you know what? Why did I grab that die? It's, I think at some point I must have grabbed the extra die. <sighs> It's been a long, it's been a long weekend. It's been a long weekend. I do apologize for any rules mistakes. You know, um, I get a little extra worked up when I'm filming versus teaching or playing in real life because I'm not thinking about what to say. I'm thinking about the AI. I'm not thinking about my own turns and it's throws me a bit. Uh, so actually I don't have those dice. So I have to recall. Uh, I'm going to recall these two. And now the AI is going to go again. They're going to clear the markets. Uh, black is going to place in its preferred. Nothing happens. Green is going back to the Sky Lounge. Done. And runs back to me. They're going to be building soon I hope um, I 
do want some water. Five, eight, we'll do eight. So we're getting extra water because I have a revealed guy. And lower my knowledge there. All right, Black has to recall and he's gonna leave one behind over here. All right, no sixes. And white is gonna go to its preferred zone. Can't raise it. Too bad, so sad. All right, back to me. I can increase that, sure. Let's spin a water here. Increase this, which unlocks this tile. So now, uh, as long as I have a blue um, character, I can go here and gain three water, which is essentially uh, like a new unlocked action, which is pretty cool. Um, okay. That's that. And now the AI is going to go. Black is going to place in its preferred. Raise yellow. Sure. Can't go any further. Uh, white's going to recall and is going to leave one behind in a unpreferred spot. Six is locked. They're really not doing them so well. That's probably because there's less cards for construction. I've got a spot sitting here and they haven't built there yet. Uh, I'm going to recall now. So we're going to go one, two. Don't have that one yet. 10, whoa, 10, 14. Ouch. All right, black places in its preferred. Nothing happens. White places in Spree's bar. <laughs> Spree's, the Breeze bar. Nothing happens. And we are going to go, we still need some cards. I could go to Breeze bar. No, I can't. I have greens though. Let's go get two greens and lose knowledge. So we're getting a little bit more easier to recall. All right. Black goes to his preferred again. And white goes to technically his preferred. Increases there. Good for it. Five. I want to increase blue some more, but it's proving to be challenging because they keep putting high numbers here. But if I get more cards, then that will work. So let's go here. Bump them, bump green, sure. Spend a green and something else. Maybe that lightning bolt, I don't know why I took it in the first place. And we're gonna buy two cards. Uh, which I can spend one less. So let's get one of these and one of these. My hand size is still four. All right, now. Black is going to recall and it's going to take everything back. Now it loses at six. And then white is going to go to the Sky Lounge. And they do like everything up in the greens. It's too bad they didn't get any green because that would have helped them a lot. The eye is kind of dying right now. Um, it's just not doing well. It's not. It's not going after buildings. It's not... Going after territories, maybe there's just more cards. I just haven't seen them yet. It's going to rush ahead, I guess. Uh, they still haven't flipped there. So let's keep going. Uh, okay, I'm going to recall now. Call this to two. And I'm good. All right, black is going to the breeze bar. And here, oh, white's, white wood bill, but I can't. It's recalling. What? That is annoying. Why did they help me build? So I can get my star. I don't want to build it my, by myself. Um, okay. I'm going to go. I got two different cards. I guess I should go get another one of the same. I mean, another different one. 
Not quite at this point yet. Oh, oh, here we go. Double water. And boost up there. So now, when I place, since I have a blue character revealed, when I place on the tunnel, I get both resources. Yes. All right, oh, here we go. Black is going to mark it, but it's going to take any unbuilt, under construction things first. So it's gonna come and help me here. And we're gonna flip over and each add a star. Get back, oh, 10, 13. Six, oh, it's locked. Uh, so it says, you must have less than six knowledge to bump your own workers. If you do gain a knowledge, the penalties don't really help or don't really hurt the AI so much as it hurts human players. So I don't, it's mostly just hurts me at this point, but I've got stars and everything. Uh, okay, so black went there, white is gonna build preferably the energy area, but it will roll around to here. Back to me. That is totally cool. We're gonna help build there. And flip that for a white and a red. And roll these back. And this is, after rolling workers, treat each worker that rolled one or two as threes during the knowledge check. Oh, painful. Um, all right. So that is me, and then some to them. Their black is going back to its favorite place, Breeze Bar, it's bumping itself. And white is gonna go and go the energy spots which is largely useless. Oh, no, not yet, not yet. I still need to get probably two more stars. So let's go get some, some cards. Bump. And we're gonna spend a green and a blue to buy two cards. All right, AI is black is going to go over here and bump that one. White is gonna to go to its preferred. Oh, sorry, black would have put a higher, no, that is the higher number. Uh, it's gonna go there. So now white gets to place a star because it was revealed and it'll get another star if it reaches the end. So they each have four left, I have two left. I'm kind of in the lead by a fair amount. Um, we are gonna place because I got lots of spaces for it. And go back here, spend three different ones, different cards, and place a star in here and push blue up again. Uh, and whenever I pay three different artifacts on the market, I can gain a standard resource and a fancy resource, which doesn't really matter anymore. They're, the only use they have now is just buying stars here, basically. All right, yeah, it's gonna go and uh, it's gonna place in blue, oh, okay. And then the white is gonna place in its preferred, three, four, five, nothing happens. And then I have one star left and I got a book. Oh no, that's not a book, that's a board game. Okay, I gotta recall to I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna push my lock and recall everything. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're good. I, I need to go get that board game or another card. Okay, AI is gonna go, black is gonna recall. Uh, it's gonna leave a spot clockwise from where it doesn't want the thing. Oh, it's got another six. And then white is gonna place on its preferred. Sure. And then now I gotta go get a card. So I got water though. Did I pay resources up here? I don't remember if I did. Oh no, I did. I got free resources from this. Um, from my dude. 
So we're going to go and just because, 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 we'll spend here, spend a water. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I can go here, spend one of each. So now I have a pair and a board game. Okay, here we go. Black is going to place in its preferred and white is forced to recall and save one behind in its unpreferred area. Oops. Uh, okay, and then now, okay, now I can do it. So now my worker card, my uh, dilemma card rather, um, I can choose as my entire turn to reveal it, spend the cost. So here's the Viticulture board game. Uh, and either draw two recruits to keep one or place a star on this card. And that is my last star. And I believe that is it. Maybe we, we finished the turn. I don't even remember. Nope. I went immediately. If there was something like stars revealed and different players achieve the end at the same time, uh, it's going to come down to uh, multiple tiebreakers. So highest morale, then lower knowledge, and then most markets, and then most territories, and then <laughs> the die roll, which is ridiculous. Uh, all right, so that is the game. Now let's head back up and give my review. All right, so that was Euphoria, Build a Better Dystopia. Uh, and uh, first let's cover the, the solo related stuff. Um, and really, Jamie, Stegmeier, Stonemeyer Games. In this day and age, why is this not included in the box? Like seriously, this game has been out long enough. It's been had enough additions coming out. The fact that the Ignorance is Bliss box is a separate expansion at this point. And it replaces a large part of the original game. It replaces this huge deck of the character cards. It replaces all of the market tiles. It adds the AI. Uh, it had stickers to place on the board. But if you bought, you know, if you got a new version or bought a replacement board, they come pre-printed on. Really, this should have been built in because um, it balances the game. Uh, it, there's quality of life improvements. There's like this balancing from uh, different player counts for how far you have to move these tracks. Uh, the different powers and things. Um, there's enough quality of life improvements that, especially with solo, that this should be one title. There should be one skew number for this. Uh, and really, next printing, this should all be in one. Nobody wants to buy the expansion and throw out a third of their box content to put new stuff in when this has had multiple editions already. All right, so off that, AI is low and balanced. There is a setup process that only really uses maybe half of the AI cards in the game. And I think most of the construction, yeah, yeah, most of the construction cards got left out. And the AI just like went to the breeze bar a bunch of times and it's got a whole bunch of you know, getting high on whatever meds that, you know, the government is handing out over in the Icarus territory. Uh, it kind of made the AI a little ineffectual. It didn't really fight me on as much things as my, my last solo plays were tighter. Uh, and it was a much closer race to points, which was great. But um, as you could probably see in the playthrough, um, which again, I apologize for any rules mistakes. Uh, I'm trying to track video and stuff at the same time. Um, the AI is really going to change how it fights you and how effective it is based on the cards. There is a way to increase difficulty by changing the makeup of the deck and putting more high-level cards in. But still, if you got enough of the other cards that didn't do a whole lot in, in here, then it you know was not super <laughs> super effective. That's fine. The AI at least is easy enough to administer, you know, with a couple of things you have to keep in mind. Um, but it does kind of lose the feel of 
kind of trying to suss out what other players are trying to do. Which, I mean, honestly, after the first couple rounds, you kind of know what they're going to do already. And it's more of an efficiency puzzle of trying to get as much stars out as you can, as fast as you can. Not unlike Scythe in that sense, or Expeditions, where it's all about getting these stars out and not so much about, you know, specifically victory points. And you have to get those objectives in different ways, which I, which I appreciate. Uh, the player powers are definitely not all balanced. Um, I've seen uh, some that are like in, in multiplayer games that really get a massive leg up uh, to the players who pick those cards from the draft first, uh, or not the draft, from the random selection first. Um, there are, I didn't see any in, in this game, but there are black cards that must be revealed that have an even stronger power, but do not provide stars. Um, but again, I do think the balance is off there, but at least they're, I'm glad they're there because they're interesting. And I do think that this game really benefits from higher player count. And I'm talking four or five, even with the added length of the game. I think it's, uh, I think it's better because that way, you know, there's still only six locations to build and there's less of a, I mean, there's, there's still going to be a rush to go build. But you're going to be on the back foot dealing with multiple, um, yeah, you know, multiple penalties against you and trying to make your way through that. Whereas um, playing at three players or less, you might get, have one or two maybe to deal with and they're easy to get rid of. So that was less interesting. Uh, also, uh, bumping each other is a great mechanism that's used in a much better sense than apiary but uh, bumping here is not always as painful but i could see the potential especially at the higher player count it's the same number of action, action spaces but it would be much easier to bump people and therefore send people back to their boards forcing them to re-roll and potentially risking losing one which by the way is well that's interesting uh, is very penalizing. Having to spend three resources, you can do get some other things for it, but resources are not the easiest to come by uh, unless you have a player power that gives those. So that can be very punishing. Uh, but still, it's an interesting game. It does a lot of neat things that uh, not, a, not, not a lot of other games do with that. You know, the penalty system, with the secret role system, whereas the roles you have revealed give you bonuses, so you're incentivized to, you know, make use of the ones you have revealed and then get them up to the top of the tracks so they get points, but you also have incentives to flip over the ones that are unrevealed so you have that power active, and that's great. I love that. Um, but overall, I think it's a little lacking for solo. It is very interesting for multiplayer. Uh, as far as components, as always, Stonemaier Games has great components. Uh, I don't know if the game trays come in the standard box or not. This came in the version I bought. Um, but good cards, good good custom dice. Um, you know, the gears are fun, but they're basically just a standard D6. The board has the same problem Apiary does, and I don't know who um, Stonemaier Games hires for the graphic designer for this, but... Um, at least this one is actually maybe a little more thematic than apiary. The apiary ones make no sense. Um, but the like slightly shaded boxes slapped on top of background art kind of detracts from things, I think. You know, they don't really make sense, but... Okay, I mean, I think some people like it. At least it's clear. The iconography is good. Um, a great rather, but it's, it's very simple iconography. Uh, and everything is clear to see and easy to read. So I do appreciate that. So overall, uh, this is a very unique and very interesting experience at multiplayer. It does play higher player counts up to six with the expansion, which is insane. Um, but I don't think it'll higher player counts won't be too terribly much longer. Um, or maybe it will. I, you know, I haven't played it all the way up to six, but I think the added people trying to push up different tracks and stuff will kind of help along those things. You might get to use these uncovered areas more because more people are working on them. Uh, so I think that's cool. And, uh, but as far as a solo game goes, uh, you know, it just doesn't quite give you the feel of a, a true AI opponent to fight against while it does block things and behave somewhat like a human would. 
Uh, it's just not quite the same. Uh, you know, you don't see another player struggling for like, oh no, this penalty just got flipped over and I can't deal with it. How am I going to do? Or like, oh no, my dice got bumped. And now I've kind of gone over the knowledge level and my guys ran away. Uh, you know, all those constraints that make the game interesting don't apply to the AI opponent. And so it's kind of turned into a very mechanical opponent that it does not feel satisfying to play against uh, is worst thing is you know is what i could say um but i mean it is a good way to learn a game too so there's that and if you really do want to play it at least there's that option i do appreciate that there is an, a, a solo option always whenever it's possible so thanks again for watching uh if you like what you see or um Rather, I would highly recommend other Stonemaier games instead. Uh, you know, Scythe has been one of my favorites. If you want to go back and watch my top 10 list, uh, it's been one of my favorite games for a long time. Expeditions is also excellent. Uh, if you want a game that's kind of like this in a sense, Apiary does some of this bumping mechanisms and, and um, combined working on stuff better. Than, than this does. I think Apiary is a, is, a, is a great game. If you want to see me do a review of that in the future, let me know in the comments. And uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps uh, my channel grow. So thanks a lot for watching. And see you next time.